Who knows about Operation Johor Bahru? Good, I'm glad you still remember because I haven't forgotten. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, fellow Singaporeans, voters of all constituencies far and wide from in our lovely island of Singapore, a warm welcome to all of you. I also want to say a special welcome if there are voters and residents from Sambawang GRC. I like to call them Sambawang Knights. Firstly, all feedback that we have received so far is we are in a period of electoral change. Island wide. You know, it is true when the taxis you take in the last two weeks, every driver tells you that we are in a period of change. Because taxi drivers are the heart and soul of Singapore. You, you the taxi driver, you are the heart and soul of Singapore. Because for one reason or another, we've all taken a cab, we all know somebody in our immediate family or extended family, friends or relatives, as a vocation, by choice, sometimes without choice, driving taxis. They are the Singapore heartbeat. <laughs> Travelling the arteries of Singapore for us. Time for change. Time for change. Yes, we can. But we have one obstacle. I will tell you what that is. And today, I hope you will join me in clearing this one last obstacle for electoral change. It is the civil service. We have come to a period of change. We are there, we are almost going to cross the line, but we have a hurdle. It is the voters who are working in the civil service. There is a dilemma among our fellow Singaporeans who are working in the civil service. They are good people, they work hard, they run the country, they keep it going. They know there is a period of change. Yeah. But we have to help them contribute to the change. Yeah. Yeah. They have a dilemma, and the dilemma is this. They are caught up in a feeling of obligation and fear about how to cast their vote. Join me in telling them that it's okay. Yeah. Vote wisely, vote for change, and Singapore will thank you. Yeah. Whether you are a teacher, whether you are working in the civil service, whether you work in the LTA, the military, the police, or government-linked companies, or a recipient of government contracts, feel the courage, vote for change. Don't be afraid. We Singaporeans will look after our friends in the civil service. When we have an alternative government, you will not feel this fear. We are not. Ladies and gentlemen, we are almost there. And this is the final hurdle that we need to address. In the next four days and five days, talk to the members of your family. If you are a civil servant out there, you know we have touched your path. That's your dilemma. Have the courage for Singapore. Help us cross the line and bring electoral change to Singaporeans. Yeah! Yeah! 
Ladies and gentlemen, on a serious note, we know they are going to be voted out. It's clear. We are there and we can cross the line. But we need to do one thing more to get us ready. Based on the feedback received and the strength of energy received from voters and residents in the constituencies that we have been working and are contesting, the SDP colleagues will in the next couple of days put together an SDP MP transition plan to take over from the PAP MPs the week after. Because we don't want to waste time, we want to think ahead and we want to ensure the gap between one set of MPs and the next set of MPs is short, smooth, so we can continue to pro pro service the residents of the different constituency smoothly and effective. The transition plan will be the one that carries us through. Yeah. That's how serious we are at the SDP and that is how confident we are based on voter feedback. Yes, we can vote them out. Yes, we know in our hearts there's one hurdle we have to cross, that is our colleagues in the civil service. They're caught in a dilemma. Let's help them out. Let them make the transition uh, to vote for change. But when this happens, we also need to be ready. And we are not leaving anything to chance. So we will put together an SDP MP transition plan so that we can move in quickly and service the voters and residents of the different GRC. Ladies and gentlemen, I see a large crowd tonight as far as my eye would carry. Thank you very much for being here. I'm not going away yet. I still have a few minutes. I want to share now something about the party and my colleagues of the Holland Bouquet Tima GRC will be coming out shortly. I talked about putting an MP transition plan in place in the next couple of days. We have this confidence because the Singapore Democratic Party has been in the process of transformation and rejuvenation in the last couple of years. And these are the hard facts. One, we have seen a growth in SDP members, number of volunteers, supporters, and helpers. The numbers have been so encouraging <laughs> that we have to hire extra premises to run trainings for these volunteers and supporters to give structure and strength to the campaign. That's how much we have grown. This large pool of people are also building experience, electoral experience. And not only do we have an expanded number of people through these elections and their involvement at many levels of the party, we are building a pool of experienced people within and around the Singapore Democratic Party. Yeah. Again, join me in thanking all these wonderful people who have come forward. As you well know, the Singapore Democratic Party is the only political party with the largest online footprint. As a result, even though the ruling party uses its excess 
to the local media to frame issues, to frame the SDP party, the impact now is negligible. The SDP is now able to maintain its real image and show it directly to the audience out there. Again, you are proof you are here. In the last three days of the rally, looking at the crowds here, every rally we have seen an increase in the number of people coming and attending. Every rally, every rally. This is the time for change, change, change. Finally, you may also like to know, as part of the party's rejuvenation plan, the management committee will come under review sometime in July and August. Being with the party, living and breathing in the last few months and day to day in the last few weeks, I can tell you the next management committee will be shiny, strong, experienced, and be carrying the party forward. And my colleague Chi Sun Juan will continue to play a pivotal role in the leadership of the Singapore Democratic Party. Have no doubt! Have no doubt! This is why we at the Singapore Democratic Party feel it's urgent, prudent, relevant to put together this SDP MP transition plan and I assure you I will be close to this process of rejuvenation of the Singapore Democratic Party. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, finally I want to say we have a wonderful slate of candidates especially in the Holland Bukit Timah GRC. Can you put your warm together? They are a great bunch, lovely people, passionate, waiting to serve you. And my colleagues, the MCs on stage, in the next few minutes, will be coming up to introduce them. You've been a great audience. Don't go anywhere. Tell your friends. Keep coming. And my friends in civil service, let me once again say, look deep into your heart. I know you want to make that leap of faith and help us bring in electoral change for all Singaporeans. Thank you very much.